Well, morning, guys. Um, uh, this morning came in. Uh, yesterday, it was 90, 92 degrees. Last night, we got hit by a whole cold front. And this morning, dude, it was 37 degrees. So uh, I was thinking maybe I shouldn't come to work. Maybe I should call in sick. But hey, I'm here, guys. So uh, this morning, uh, I did bring a unit in to the shop yesterday, or sorry, Saturday. Uh, it's got a wheelchair lift oil leak. And uh, we have to address that one. But uh, I well, uh, a gentleman by the name of Jose Diaz asked me to show how we set up the springs on the uh, wheelchair lift arms. There's a spring towards the back of the arm where the base is, the base, the one that's bolted to the floor of the bus. Uh, the upper arm has a spring. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this oil leak. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some uh, clips of how we set up that spring. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that arm also. Uh, let me go ahead and get started, guys. Well, guys, oh, this is the Rikon lift here. Let me undo the buckle so I can get in there. And uh, if you guys can see, there's a, there's a little bit of oil. There's a little trace of oil going alongside that lift. So oil leak is going to be on this side and it's going to be right there guys so uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove this arm so I can go ahead and get a you know clearer view of what I'm doing I'm going to fix that on this one guys it's not the hose it's the actual adapter that's in the bottom so I'm going to go ahead and tighten that one up. If I have to, I'll replace it, but hopefully I'll get away with just tightening it. And I'm going to go ahead and get this arm off. Well, guys, uh, let me go ahead and start by removing that arm. And uh, I believe this is a spring in question that uh, Jose Diaz wanted me to kind of show how we remove this and actually put it back on. So let me go ahead and take this arm off. I'm going to fix that oil leak and then I'm going to come back and replace this arm or not replace but install this arm back and uh, get this spring back in its location so let me go ahead and uh, it's got little allen screws I believe these are I'm not too sure guys I'll, I'll tell you in a minute and I got to remove the, this pin and the pin in the bottom to go ahead and get this arm out of the way so I can get to that leak well guys let's go ahead and get this bottom one first this is a 316 little allen wrench and this was a little messed up because this little disc has that little peg right there. It's supposed to go into that slot and hold it in place. On this one, it's been out. It's just turning. You see all the scratches. So we're going to go ahead and straighten this one out so that it locks back in place. So let me get this one off. Okay, washer, little hex bolt, and this one here guys, this one here, it's bent, so it's supposed to be, uh, it's going to break guys, it's supposed to be like that, this little teeth right here locks into that little hole right there, and holds it in place. Then we just tap that back in. Pull this pin out. So this arm here is already loose. So let's go ahead and take the camera inside the unit and get the top part undone so we can go ahead and get it off and repair the leak. Well guys, uh, 
that gave us a that gave us a better view of the spring. So let me remove this. That's off. Well, guys, it was it was a correct tool. It just had debris in there, little burrs, little steel, little pieces just kind of in the way so again remove this little hex bolt this is the way it's supposed to look all right this is the little lock as you can see the pin fits on the pin and it keeps it from rotating. Hey guys. Pull the pin off. Nice. This is your spring. I'm hoping this is the one you were talking about, Jose. So we're gonna put that aside and completely take the arm off. So that we can go ahead and address this leak. Let me show you guys. Let me get a close-up view. Well, guys, uh, there's a view. Let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to do this in a time lapse. I mean, it's a simple, just tightening the nut in the bottom, getting this hose off, tightening this little 90 degree down, and then putting the hose back on it. So. This one down. This one actually broke. I gotta order a new little uh, locking little washer for this one. So I'll get that later. Let me go ahead and go inside and show you how to do the spring and how I actually line up the pin to actually put it together. Hi right, guys. Well guys, uh, this is where the spring comes into play. What we do here is on the arm. Let me show you. On the arm, you have that little peg. That's where the spring actually slides into. All right. Now, the one in the back. You have another slot on the bottom here 
bring the arm down and use your finger to kind of pull the spring back and push it into place. Sorry about the alarm. It's a special need genius guys, so alarm's gonna be going off one time to time. You pull the spring back and he goes in. Spring's already in place. Get your pin. Raise your arm, raise the arm up. Start the pin. Uh, there. Raise the spring. Push it through the spring. Now it's not aligned back here. It, the spring is, tends to push the pin outward. So what you have to do is, I grab a pair of channel locks, grab the pin by its head, and kind of. Oh, oh, sorry about that, guys. This will allow you to Alright. There we go. And then comes a pry bar. Turn the pin. The pin, the back part of the pin has a flat box cut. And that's for this washer. The washer locks into the hole that's on the base of the lift, and the washer just goes over. Get your little. Allen wrench little nut bolt and screw it into place guys. Start the oil leak, kind of show you guys how this spring goes back in place. I know, I mean, I have to tap that little pin in. Like I said, I mean, steel here is kind of burred. The pin didn't want to go in, it would lock on one of those little sharp edges. So I just hit it a couple of times to make it slide right through. When you put the pin in, the spring tends to push the pin outward. I use my channel locks, so I grab the head of the pin, and I can actually maneuver the pin up and down side to side until it lines up and then it's tap it in get that little uh, locking washer in place get that little nut bolt and washer tighten it up and things ready to go so i guess i'm gonna go ahead and call this some done guys uh jose diaz i hope this is what you were looking for and uh well hope you guys enjoy the video hey like and subscribe